Welcome back to Scripture Channel. I have a question from Cassandra, and I thank you for all the questions. Here's what we had. This is number five. What does it mean by come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord? Does this mean we are not to eat or fellowship with unbelievers? Let me answer that question. It's not that you can't eat or fellowship with unbelievers. But let me explain it to you with scripture. 2 Corinthians 6, 14 through 18. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Number 17. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Number 18, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord God Almighty. What it's telling you, you don't participate in their evils. You be the light. I'm saying now, it's okay to sit down and eat with someone if you're teaching them, if you're leading them to Christ. But you don't go hang out with them every day, hanging out with them. And all. No, you don't do that. It's okay to fellowship with somebody if you're leading them to Christ, but not to go hang out with them and sit there and drink beer with them and drink liquor with them and smoke weed with them and all this type of stuff. No. Let's move on to another verse. 1 Corinthians 5 and 11. But now I have written unto you, not to keep company, if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator or covetous or an idolater or a railer or a drunkard or an extortioner, with such an one, know not to eat. If you got somebody out there that claim to be a Christian, be a man of God, a woman of God, and they're a fornicator, you ain't supposed to be with them. Because Unless you lead them to Christ. But if you hanging with them, if you rolling with them, if you spending a lot of time with them out in public and all this type of stuff, you're giving credit to their behavior. You're saying it's okay to be like that. This is what this verse is talking about. If, if they're covetous, always wanting somebody else's stuff, you don't you don't hang with people like you don't you don't associate on long term things with people like that. You separate from them. And let them know why you're separating from them. If they're an idolater or a railer, a drunkard or extortioner, you know, like some of these pimps behind the pool pit, extorting money out of people, all types of things going on. So again, if you're leading someone to Christ, if you're leading someone down the right path, it's okay. But ain't nobody telling you to spend no Every day with the same person or a whole bunch of days of the week or a whole bunch of days of the month. Because what you're doing, you're giving credibility to their wrongdoings. And you're letting folks know, oh, well, it's okay to do this. Because preacher hanging out with him. He's sitting there drinking a beer with him. He's sitting there smoking weed with him. And he's a preacher. You know, I'm not even going to get into this female pastor who got on whatever it is, video, drinking, Patron, and cussing, and then try to justify it. And then some preachers just try to over-justify it. But you know what? She was not living in Christ at that time. She was not saved at that time. Now, maybe she done repented now. I don't know, but when I seen the video, she hadn't repented because she was defending it. But then she said, I don't condone it. If you don't condone it, why'd you do it? 
Why are you sitting there defending it? All you had to do is say, I was wrong, y'all. But no, she don't want to say I was wrong then because so many people were supporting her. So many people were saying, you do you, girl. You do you, girl. Man, please. So look, if you lead someone to Christ, that's fine. If, if you want to, if you going to sit down and eat with somebody, matter of fact, you might take somebody out to eat because they hungry. They might be homeless and you take them out to get something to eat. Ain't nothing wrong with you sitting there eating too. But you don't become one with them and their evils. And their wrongdoings. You don't do that. So that's why. Saying what it says. 1 Corinthians 5 and 11. Read this again. But now I have written unto you. Not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother. Be a fornicator. A covetous. Or an idolater. Or a railer. Or a drunkard. Or an extortioner. With such an one. Know not to eat. These people here. Doing this type of stuff. You're supposed to take them in secret anyway. First time, you and them in secret. Hey, man, you can't be doing it. You got to stop. If they receive it, you done gain a brother. This is another episode, but you done gain a brother. If they don't receive it, then you go get one or two more. Then you bring them there. If they don't receive it that time, then you take it before the church. When they take it from the church, they still don't get it. They thrown out. You ain't going to be up in here like that. 2 Corinthians 6, 6, 14 to 18, make read, read, read all of that. Wherefore, number 17, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. It's telling you, don't participate in their uncleanliness. It's all right to be there if you're helping them, leading them to Christ, bringing them into the light. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I did. So until next time, be blessed. Hallelujah.